lot of, maybe even Alante Taylor could be an example here, when you have guys that feel like you're t trying to take them from great to greater, mm -hmm. how do you help make that leap in development? Attention to detail. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's what it is at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Right, being able to get a guy to lock in the pre-snap and post-snap indicators, so that allows them to play faster and utilize anticipation better. Right, like that, it's a natural instinct; it's innate. There's no question about that. But just giving them little tools here and there, right? That's not too much information because the last thing that you want is paralysis by analysis. So it's just being able to understand, right? Learn your learner, know what they can intake, and then being able to give them the tools in order for them to utilize it and play faster. An example of paralysis by by analysis that's overthinking? Overthinking, no question. Well, I saw this formation, I thought it was this concept, but they ran something else. Mm -hmm. Well, it's okay to anticipate and, and to utilize your mind, but like play play what we see. Thank you. Chris, is, is uh, Paulson kind of starting to run into form after you come back and, and struggling a little bit after the injury earlier? In sure, no question, right? And like it's the toughest thing in the world to do is to recover during the season, right? Again, especially again, we're, we're, we're rolling, we're going Thursday night here, again, week to week, uh, no bye week and all that different type of thing. And it's finding, it's finding the, the time to rest and to recover and to heal. Well, like that time hadn't been there. Um, fortunately, right again, is in the body does miraculous things, you know, like thank God. So the time that it takes in order for him to heal or to kind of come back around and, and get back into form. Uh, yeah, it slowly but surely has been happening. How has Caden Ellis just been able to come in and kind of dominate these last two games uh, the way he has? Like, what do you guys see for him? Yeah, it's just preparation. And it's like essentially he's another guy that's kind of getting picked back up from where he was during camp. You know, a real bright spot for us during that time. And then now, like when we when we need it, we are, we get into dog days of the season to where like it gets harder and, and, and we're going. You got more. Well, again, he's been the guy that's kind of stepped up and, 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 and picked up where we need it, right? And obviously getting our pass rush and things of that nature. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really cool to watch. Just a follow-up on that. Can you talk about kind of like the two-edged sword? You know, I'm sorry to ask about overcoming injuries, but like the two-edged sword of just not having Pete and the spectacular season that he's had, but also the opportunity that that creates for, for else. Yeah, and so right next man up, right? So everybody prepare, right? You may not be the starter day one, but everybody prepare as if you're going to be a starter. Again, and I know I've said it up here before, when you step out there on that field, it doesn't matter what point in the game it is, what down it is, you are a starter. Like you are a starter. You are starting that play, and that's the only play that matters. Right, so it's, again, it's just it's really you have to be mature about it. Okay, again, call it being professional, well, but that's professional football, right? You're one play away. You have to be prepared, and when you get out there, no weak links, right? We all we need to be all strength. And Chris, um, when you spoke about like picking up where he left off from training camp, okay, in general, like, the vibe around this team has always been a very confident defense mm -hmm. from training camp through the start of the season. Obviously, injuries are nothing that you can. You know, prepare for no question. But um, the kind of coming back nature of some of these players in the secondary. How, how excited are you just for for the end of this? Yeah. For the second half of the season with those guys coming back. Yeah, like it's like they're they're, they're guys that you start the season off that you're absolutely counting on, right? And then again, coach's responsibility is to make sure that everyone is being developed in the event or in case that we're not able to get or keep these guys that we're really counting on. So unfortunately, right again, we've had a few guys go down, but that time is coming, right? That cop, that time is coming. Now, the other beautiful part about that is, is, is what it allows everyone in regards to development, right? Again, this development is really, really creating a lot of strength, right? Ultimately, yeah, for the future, no, now, right now. It's a lot of guys who have been able to get out there to gain a lot of experience that have grown Right, that have grown. And so now we know what we can count on from guys that may have been an enigma. Right? Again, guys that we have counted on for years, you know, they're, they're not around. So now again, you throw a new guy out there, right? And then is it an, an enigma, Alante Taylor, right? Again, do we know? Right? But now, no, we, we, we do know, right? Again, that, that, that's a again, hell of a player, really confident. He's going to go out there, he's going to challenge a lot of people, and he's going to make it tough. Right, he's going to make it tough. Right? Then obviously, again, Lattimore and Roby and guys of this nature are able to come back. Like We know what they're all about.
Does that San Francisco kind of challenge the defense's eyes as much as anybody in the league? I wouldn't say as much as anybody, but it's 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 definitely a challenge, right? Again, and, and again, Shanahan system, right? So here we go, right? Again, the, the turbo motions and things of that nature. And um, I, I'll say the one thing that they may do better than a majority of the teams in the league is is when they got the balls in their, and the ball in their hand, like everybody's a runner, like everybody turns into a running back. So it's the run after the catch, right? Again, the check downs, again, the, the intermediate or underneath throws and those runs becoming explosive, explosive plays. So again, when they get the ball in their hands and everybody's a runner at that point and we're gonna need everybody to get to the ball and tackle. I was gonna, I was gonna ask, I think they're leaving the NFL and throwing the catch this year. How important is and tackling is important for y'all every Absolutely. game? Absolutely. Like in this one in particular, is it got to be on point? It's every every game, no question. Definitely, this game must be on point. And a really good idea. Don't let them catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Did the addition of Christian McCaffrey only add to this? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it it has. Right. Again, he's been a really good player in our league for a long time. Um, and you, you take a look at the, at the tape and you study how they're utilizing them and uh, I, they're really smartest coaches and they're not asking him to do anything out of his wheelhouse, right? So we, we've had him in our division and again, uh, the type of route runner and the concepts and the things like that that he's done really well there when he was in Carolina and it's carried over into what he's doing also in San Francisco. So uh, fortunately, right again, against that player, we've had some history. So it, w it won't be brand new for us again in regards to matchups, but and he's still a great player, no question. DA yeah, mentioned last week that you guys kind of really emphasized tackling. Were, were you guys pleased with the response in this week's game, which is kind of how they, they tackle? Yeah, no, yeah, yes, right? Um, but we're always looking, always looking for improvement, right? Like we're, we're never ever going to be satisfied until it's zero all the time. Can you speak a little bit to what stands out about Michael Hodges and his work with the linebackers? Man, really bright, young, intelligent, right? Energetic, uh, a lot of care and love for the game. Um, the extra time and effort in meetings, the precision, like the statistics, like all of that stuff is there. Again, it's been it's been a real again, uh, um, again unique package, right? So it's been a real treat to kind of watch the guy grow as a young coach, man. There's a unique package there in regards to the energy and the love and getting the care, right? Again, and obviously again, everybody and him in particular. Um, one day you can see a coordinator in this league.